It hit different. Hold on. It hit different when my got them, them racks on me. It hit different when my got them racks like that. It do hit different. Hey, shout out OTF, man. Shout out Lil Dirk, man. Like I told y'all, um, if y'all don't know what's going on right now, Lil Dirk just signed me to OTF. It do hit different when I get signed. Um, we stopping all the violence. We coming together. 63rd and O Block. It's OTF. We come together, stopping all the violence right now. So um, it's a lot of money, a lot of change that y'all about to be starting to see from just the whole thing, everything that's been going on, bro. Y'all finna start seeing a lot, a lot of shit, bro. So it do hit different, man. Like I told y'all, man, stop the violence. Long live on, long live up. Y'all know what's going on. It do hit different. They got why I be the baby. He trying to act like, hold on, it's merch. Let me see if I could, if I could, get, if I could get him on here. Now you want to act like, now you want to act like it's a problem. It's merch. So what I'm, I'm saying, why, why do you act like it's a problem, bro? It's merch. I'm saying, what you want? Why you want to end up doing all this though? It's merch. I get it. I, I get where I'm coming from, bro. But at the same time, bro, I'm trying to get some money, bro. This is about like a lot of we done seen a lot of dad in it, bro. It's merch. This about some money with me, bro. Is you like, scared? Bro, it ain't got to do with it being scared, bro. Man, you, you, it sound like you scared to me, bro. When you know what the <laughs> going on. Bro, you done, bro, you know me, bro. We done been in the trenches together. I ain't sitting right with me, bro, at all, bro. Like, bro, we done pulling up over there in a minute. Hey, we done been in the trenches together, folks. So don't act like I'm just some scary. Bro, don't don't get on my live doing that, bro. Now I ain't, I ain't never say that on folks. I ain't even saying that you. I know what you do. You know what I do. But at the end of the day, bro, all that goof be some trolling because more will get up with you and you know my body on folk. Bro, this about some money, bro. You talking about, about some trolling, bro? I, I'm trying to get some. I'm trying to get some money, bro. I'm trying to get some money, bro. Y'all tweaking, bro. It's about the bigger picture, bro. The kids been looking all these. These hey, are looking man. up to us, hey, bro. Man. We the Chicago hey, legends, with, bro. I was just with you. You talking about some money? You just jump chains. You just jump. You just jump forms. You just jump big cribs. You just jump all that. We got anything even got what the f we have it most of. Bro, have. if I screenshot, listen, Billy. If I screenshot you the the money, if I screenshot you my account right now, how much this man just put in my account, bro? You gonna understand why I'm coming? How I'm coming? Man, you bro? know what? I ain't even trying to understand. Since he put that in your account, when I see you, I'm, like, I'm trying to see your account too. What you talking about? Get out with me. Bro. That's what I be saying, bro. These, bro, my can't. That, bro, out of all these, bro, it's so many kids and so many mothers that's looking at this, bro. And and we been, me and Billy been locked in. Bro, you come on my live, bro, like you ain't got songs with Lil Dirk yourself, bro. This man got songs with Dirk, bro. He just really got on here in front of this fool, like, before the world. Ain't have songs with dirt, bro. You come on. What's happening, La Familia? We back in this with another one, man. <laughs> and if you don't know by now, a situation happened a couple hours ago between FYB J Main and that man Billionaire Black. And it was due in part to the fact that J Man allegedly signed to Lil Dirk. Well, out of his own mouth, he said he did. But then again, man, if you watch the, the live, it kind of seemed like the men were trolling. You know what I'm saying? Didn't really seem like it was serious at all. But then again, man, you never really know. You know what I'm saying? Like Jay May said, he was trying to get some money. And if that was the case, hey, I don't knock the man on a coup. I really don't. And at the very end of the day, FYB Jay May is not a GD. FYB Jay May is a BD. He's a black disciple. That's what the most of the world don't really know. You know what I'm saying? He's not, he don't have anything to do with the gays of the disciples besides the fact that a couple of them are his partners. He rocked with Billionaire Black. He rocked with King Yella. He rocked with uh, with uh, Duck. He rocked with a lot of, you know, the notable figures over there in the Gangsta Disciples side. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, he has pledged his allegiance to the BDs, man. But his point for doing all this was he said he's tired of, you know, all the young kids that look up to them wanting to follow in those footsteps. He's tired of seeing everybody pass away. He's tired of going through this, living his life like this. They are all in a position, man, where they can be successful. And if uh, Billionaire Black seen the amount of money that was placed into 
FYBJ Main's account, then he would understand why J Main made that move. And like, honestly, man, even if you know it wasn't for no money, if J Main is making the steps and putting his first foot forward and trying to squash the situations that have been going on for way too long, why not? Why not? If this is what it takes for, you know, somebody to say, look, I'm done, I'm out the game, and that takes a huge portion of that beef away, why not? I mean, at the end of the day, man, people like like billionaire black who want to continue living in negativity, that's a disease, bro. You are a disease, bro. You have a diseased brain. You need to get yourself right. Everybody's starting to elevate and understand that that lifestyle ain't bringing nothing but poverty. You can't even move around like you want to because you got to worry about your opposition coming and taking you out. You got to worry about looking over your shoulders every time you're trying to make a move. How can you have real motion if you got to worry about getting your head bust in every city that you go to because your ops got more money than you? Yeah, you can say we got everything that they got, but you know they got more money. They got more motion. They got more going on. There's no way that you can compete with that. The best thing for you to do is call it quits. That way, there's no more lives that are being lost. All of your day one partners are in the grave behind this same situation. That's what he's trying to get across to you. That man is nearing, if he's not already 30 years old, man. So at this point, he like, bro, all that stuff need to go away. I'm ready to go to the next level. Being a part of this beef and not squashing this is holding me back. He's realizing that. He realizing that. Dirk has the power to keep, he been showed y'all that, but OTF has the power to blackball y'all out of the industry. They own Chicago. Y'all don't have a place. The best route that y'all had out was FBG Duck. And he's no longer here, but even his career was blackballed by Lil Dirk and them. They wouldn't even allow him to get on a mainstream status. They were stifling his career. You proved that you put the Cardi B's and multiple other uh, big name artists on that are on in the world, but you yourself haven't made it to a mainstream status. And that's because of this beef, bro. Until you start to realize like, look, I gotta, I gotta end this. You will never get nowhere. You will continue the same pattern. And what is insanity? Doing the same thing, expecting a different outcome. You are living in insanity, bro. Wake up and realize that, man, this is not going to benefit you, your kids, or anyone else that are associated with you in the long run. Until you sit down with Dirk and talk this thing out man to man. You don't have to join forces with him, but all you have to let it be known is that we are no longer beefing. I don't want to beef with you. I don't want to lose nobody else. I don't want to bury another partner. I want our city to be able to be safe enough to where we can both make money. We do not have to be cool. Our homies do not have to be cool. But you stay on that side, I'll stay over here. If I need to come over there and make money, just make sure it's a green light for me and it'll be a green light over here. We'll call everything over with. Because check it, Billionaire Black, the next step from this is either one, y'all are all caught up in a Rico, or two, everybody's in the grave. Nobody wins from this. Nobody wins from this. Hey, because that person that think they're the last one standing, they're going to end up being locked away. Somebody gonna go down for this. See, all the feds is doing is allowing y'all to take each other out. And when that last man is standing, they gonna come scoop him up, take all his money, and do away with y'all. Unless y'all cut this out right now. Cut it out right now. Cut it out while y'all still got an opportunity. Don't be mad at your homie for making a power move that's gonna change his life. Yeah, it might feel like he betrayed you because you know that's your opposition. But what did you expect? Like, when it come to J-Man... That's one that should have been kind of expected from the gate. I said this a while back before, you know, the channel even got attention that, you know, J-Man really, you know, he's a BD. That's the first person you should have expected to go back towards the BDs. He see how his hood really winning. Like, he really a BD. He looking at it like, man, if I wasn't rocking with the GDs and having love over here, I could be up with everybody else. What do you expect? I guarantee you that man been sitting there the entire time that he been kicking it with y'all. Ever since Dark and him blew up, thinking like, man, I made a bad decision. You know, I rock with these boys. This is love over here, man. But man, I'm starving. Man, my kids, I want to get my kids them Jordans. Man, I want to get up out of the hood. Man, I want a car that don't break down on me every, every couple months. Man, I'm ready to get right. 
that money man that money is a powerful man i'm telling you that's a powerful tool that man been over there envying the lifestyle that he could have been living had he stayed down with his own peoples he made the conscious decision to understand man that i gotta kill all of this conflict that i created for myself he made a conscious decision that look i know everybody that i associated with before ain't gonna like this move that i'm about to make but i'm gonna make it because it's in the best interest of myself and when you a man you can't think about everybody else you got to think about what's best for yourself sometimes man you got to think about what is going to benefit you in the long run longevity we out here playing a long game man like once you reach 25 plus man you got to start thinking about playing a long game you can't no longer think about man i'm gonna die at 18 you're not 18 no more once you get kids you got to play out the long game billionaire black bro it's time to grow up it's time to lose that mentality and understand what you have to lose and i see everybody going in on j main man but what i think is man he made a power move for himself man and it don't matter what y'all think at the end of the day he's gonna be straight he's gonna be successful he gonna be out the way you know what i'm saying you can't hey you can't go to war if you ain't got no paper you know what i'm saying this man made a move that's gonna get him up out the way he ain't no longer gonna be in chicago he gonna be in hawaii somewhere on the beach looking at everybody else losing their life because they won't grow up and realize that that ain't getting you nowhere beef is a broke man sport beef will forever suck your pockets dry it's like ben 10 said in that song going broke on cars just to get at you you hear what he said i'm going broke on cars just to get at you which means he buying new cars every day new rentals buying rentals trying to stay ducked off low key that way he won't lose his life out trying to you know what i'm saying come on man nah bro it ain't enough is enough man it's time for people to wake up and realize what is at stake here don't lose your opportunity or miss your opportunity by wasting time beefing with other dudes man hey i rock with it jay man keep doing your thing man and shout out to Lil dirk for actually reaching out to you and giving you this opportunity man hopefully all goes well and billionaire black man wake up and realize man that beefing was a distraction that, it, that was given to us man there is no such thing as being a real street dude, a gangster, all that's a facade, bro. Move past that, bro. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this down in the comments section. And like I said, man, I love the move.